Remix. So what does your average day look like as a data scientist? You are probably collecting data from various sources, transforming it, cleaning it, pre-processing it, and even vectorizing it depending upon the use case. Now that your data is clean and ready, you want to analyze the data. So you have a bunch of machine learning algorithms that you can pick and choose from, and you go ahead and experiment with all of them. So once you have zeroed in on a couple of algorithms that you want to try with your data for your data set, what you have to do is hyperparameter optimization or pick the best configuration so that you are able to generate the most accurate model. Now this in itself is actually a very tedious and long process. So once you're done with that, you have to test your model against real-time data and validate it. Now you have a great model and ready to deploy it into production so that your model can now handle real-time use cases. Now this is the complete machine learning workflow. And it's a long and tedious process if you think about it, especially when you're dealing with a very complex problem and a large data set. Now, what if I told you that there is actually a way where you can automate all the repetitive tasks like data cleaning and transformation, even picking and choosing the right machine learning model. And you can actually focus on more important stuffs in the machine learning pipeline, like making your model more accurate and accurate and accurate. So what am I talking about? That brings me to the topic of today's video, AutoML. So AutoML stands for Automated Machine Learning and it involves automating any time-consuming, repetitive, boring tasks that you encounter during your machine learning workflow, which can involve data cleaning, data pre-processing, or even picking and choosing the right algorithm for your problem and even automatically optimizing your hyperparameters. Now that is a significant level of automation because we as data scientists know how hard and time consuming it is to find the right algorithm for our problem, let alone optimizing it. Now the original idea behind AutoML was that, given a raw data set, is it possible to create a very accurate and scalable ML model by automating all the steps in the machine learning workflow without the intervention of any human data scientists? Now, this is such an ideal scenario. First of all, is it possible? Secondly, if it is actually possible, is it going to throw the data scientists out of the jobs? Because now you have AutoML, which can easily replace you and can be more efficient and powerful. Now, these are some of the begging questions. So we now know what AutoML is, but how does it work? Well, any AutoML library or framework internally creates multiple pipelines and runs your data set against those pipelines and then evaluates which pipeline worked the best or which algorithm is the best. So now for instance, one of the pipelines could use count vectorizer as the vectorization technique along with random forest as your machine learning algorithm. Whereas a second pipeline could use TF-IDF as the vectorization technique coupled with k-nearest neighbors as your machine learning algorithm. And these two different pipelines are evaluated and compared as to which one was the best. Not only that, the hyperparameter optimization is also automatically done for these algorithms. Now in the context of deep learning, AutoML can actually help you explore the unexplored. AutoML is capable of figuring out very complicated neural network architectures, which sometimes even human experts cannot think of. This takes me back to 2018 when Sundar Pichai said, neural nets can now design neural nets. So is AutoML that powerful? Well, yes, it is actually very powerful, but that doesn't mean that it's going to replace a data scientist. For instance, there is so much information when you talk about a business or an organization and the context, and a machine cannot understand everything in a very holistic way. That's first thing. Secondly, domain knowledge is something very unique to human beings, or it is simply a human expertise, which cannot be easily replicated by a machine. So data scientists, there you go. That's the good news you have. AutoML is not going to replace you. Let's talk about the pros and cons of AutoML. An AutoML library or a framework enables anybody to access the machine learning resources and rapidly generate machine learning models for their use cases. And they don't have to be an expert in machine learning. So for example, there's an organization which wants to try out some machine learning solution for a use case. They don't actually have to hire data scientists, but they can easily do a feasibility study on the use case 
and if machine learning actually works out for them. And in order to do that, they don't actually have to be a machine learning expert. This actually brings me to the second advantage, which is cost savings. So like I said, an organization wants to experimentally try out some machine learning solution to some of the use cases. Now, instead of hiring a team of data scientists initially, they could actually go ahead with AutoML and try out, and they don't have to be an expert in order to understand how machine learning solutions work for them. So the third advantage is that AutoML actually enables data scientists to be much better at their work. It gives them some great insights and rapidly speeds up their machine learning process of experimentation. So talking of disadvantages, AutoML is actually computationally very expensive and sometimes it is actually very easy to do it manually than waste your computational resources. The other thing you have to remember is machine learning itself is sometimes a black box and it's hard to explain why a certain thing works a certain way when it comes to machine learning. But AutoML is blacker than a black box. At least when you do your ML experimentations manually, you know how your model is evolving with respect to the data as well as the hyperparameter tuning and so on. But when it comes to AutoML, it's very hard to understand why a certain algorithm was chosen as the best algorithm and why certain hyperparameters were optimized or tuned in a certain way. And it's hard to explain that. And this unpredictability weighs against the AutoML. So there are some off-the-shelf AutoML technologies available like AutoWake Up, AutoSKLearn, Teapot, H2O AutoML, and so on. Even Google and Microsoft have offered their AutoML solutions in Google AutoML and Microsoft Azure AutoML respectively. So feel free to explore them. This brings me to the end of this video. Thanks for watching and we will explore more in the later video.